this in this video we are going to see the uh, how the ordered array can be run in a uh, genie now we have opened the genie and typed the coding and here uh, we have declared the using namespace this is mainly for c out and c in and then uh, here we have declared the maximum size of the array to be 20 and we have declared the class uh, the name o array meaning ordered array and then we have declared a local variable array uh, which is of the maximum size and then length local variable another local variable length and we have declared the member functions now here this is a constructor where we initialize the length variable to be zero and then here the list size it returns at any point what is the length and then traverse here uh, the value at any point of time what is the value present in the array will be printed then insertion uh, this already we have seen in the previous video the implementation so that when the value is passed it will check the it will find the correct position uh, in the given array and then it will be inserted so uh, the, uh, it is a sorted array so when you insert a value it automatically finds its positions and move the other values accordingly and it finds its position it fit in the correct correct order that is what this insertion will do which the theory is already explained in the previous slide then retrieve is yes, given the index uh, if so for example i want to find a of 5 means you can you give the value 5 the index value and that value uh, we take that value and place it in the element in the value in the local variable and then we return that value present in that index then deletion here again we pass that value and we use the binary search algorithm to locate the particular value and then uh, we remove it that's what here here this particular for loop will do the removal then binary search this also we have I have explained already so binary search algorithm where we find the middle value and then accordingly uh, we test the searching element with the middle value if it is uh, if the value searched is less than the middle value then you have to search in the up, uh, lower half or else you have to search in the upper half and then accordingly you have to change the first and last element and then again and again you have to reduce your search space till you reach the element so that's what uh, this binary search is doing and in the main program we declared an object and uh, here we create an instance of the object called obj1 and then we have uh, declared uh, four local variables all are of integer type now we use a do loop in order to write a menu driven program so these are all the choices so this is for printing this is for inserting retrieving delete and so on now we use a switch case in order to when the user print the uh, what choice he has selected then that will be passed to the switch case statements and each case will take care of the each uh, choices so here uh, when you select the first one it will print the value you call the traverse which we have already declared and then two we enter the value and that will be inserted we pass that value here then the retrieve element then we pass the index and we get the value and here the return value is stored in the local variable which again we are printing it and then fourth deleting an element we pass the value and we the deleted value is return uh, which we catch it here and then we print it in this c out statement then five searching binary search we call the binary search and then this return the index where we'll be able to see what element uh, where it is present so here uh, we are printing the element as well as in which position it is present then the last one is to find out what is the number of elements at any point of time so this is why now I'll just run the program. Oh, yes, first time we are going to insert two. The initially the length is zero, so there will be no value now. Now I'm entering say some 56 or 50. You see remember that there 
see the first value is uh, index is 0 and the value entered is 50. Now again I am inserting 2 and I am inserting 60. Now the index is 1 because 60 is greater than 50 so it correctly finds its position. Now I am going to enter another data which is let me say 55. Now if you see it has found correct index 1. Now when I press 1 you can see it is correctly inserted. First 50 we have inserted then 60. But now the 60 is pushed to the next position and 55 find its position. Now I again insert some uh, 10. Now let us see how it is printed. See it has found its first index. See it has been placed under all the elements of pushed one position to the next. Next next position that they are pushed. Now retrieving an element. I want to retrieve the, on the position. Two. Now see here 55. 55 is 0, 1, 2. It is in the second position. Now I want to delete. Uh, first let me do searching and then we will delay. Fifth, enter the element to be search. Now I say 60. I want to uh, search for an element 55. Now see here 55 is at the position 2. Now I want to delete you have to give the value to be deleted. Let me say 55. I want to delete 55. Now it will be put in. Now I press traverse again. See the 55 is removed. And I want to see what is the list size, current list size. See here, it gives 3. Size of the list is 3. Now I quit the program.